Washington, D.C., home of government, Congress, and several nice museums. But there is another group of strange individuals living in this city. Actors. Some of these special, special people do Shakespeare. Others, training videos for the FBI. And some spend their days like this. My business, you know, I have a lot to do. I'm, I'm a businessman. Johnson, yeah, Christopher Johnson. You, you can call me Christopher. So, um, do you enjoy being a medical student? Because you're, you're doing very well. <laughs> you're sort of, uh, you're sort of acing this. Yeah. I mean, in London, where I'm from, we have a completely different medical system. It's free. Um, but I, I prefer yours, where you have to pay for your sickness. I know these seem like personal questions, but I assure you that everything is confidential. Have you had unprotected sex recently? I don't really have crabs. I'm an actor. This is a completely fictional scenario. It's not real. I'm just, I'm pretending. So, uh, with that in mind, when do your studies finish for the day? Soon as this concludes your time. Maxwell, Stephen, come and see me in my office, please. Mm. Maxwell. Kara. What was that in there? Improvising. Um, it's from the Greek improvotikos, which means to make things up to procure the favors of young ladies. Never do that again. Not here. This is a university hospital. These people are training to be doctors, okay? This is not a place to meet girls. That's why the male medical students are here. Dude. Stephen. Yes. Please limit your questions to the ones in your case. You're playing a character. You guys are actors, right? Yes. Technically. Well, if you didn't stick to the script anywhere else, you'd be fired, right? I think we'd have to be working as actors somewhere else. Also, you have the same emergency contact. Sorry? You both have a, a Cassandra Butler Sanchez as your emergency contact, listed as mother. Is she really your mother? Both of you? Yes. No. Are you brothers? Half brothers. No. Yes. Same mother, different fathers. We don't, it's not really common knowledge that we are... He's embarrassed by me, so... Why would anyone be embarrassed by you? I know! Oh, Mum, she's kind of great, apart from the Yo-Yo Ma thing. I'll see you both next week. Possibly for the last time. Sorry, Kara. Thanks, Kara. Good talk. W won't happen again. <laughs> Incidentally, I have some great ideas for improving student morale. 
we could talk about it in the cafeteria if you want downstairs. They do a really good hazelnut latte on me. And maybe if you want next weekend, we could just go out. I know it's potentially crossing the professional line, but if you're going to fire me, then maybe it's maybe it's fate, right? Come on. Okay. Skype me. Kara said that um, you deviated from the script. You never do that. Is that is that about Melanie? Uh, Did she dump you? I never liked her, by the way. No, no, just, uh, just drop it. She was always over the apartment. She'd be like, oh, hi, Max. Do you know what I mean? I In that I tone. Don't, I don't want to talk about it. With that, well, we've got to talk about it sometime. because she, she Did she dump you? No. Come on, no. you can tell Melanie me. Melanie and I are great. We're, we're better than great. We're fantastic. I'm, I'm seeing her tomorrow night, as a matter of fact. And I'm mm -hmm. going to come home mm -hmm. smelling of, 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 of sex. Every kind of sex. I'm just going to reek of it. It's going to pour out of me. And, and you're going to be all embarrassed because of what you just said. And I'm going to be all like, and you're going to say sort of faux casually like you did. You know, hey, chap, how's Melanie? And I'm going to be all like, she's a panther. Now, Hoover, limey. Is, um, she travels a lot, gets around a lot. Visits different countries um, and steals their men away. Little... Have, you, have you heard of um, Magnus Wunder, the German expressionist composer who had a breakdown and then moved to the hills of Pennsylvania? No? That's, that's dead. Yep. Yep. Have you heard of Nigel Templeton, the author of God is a Wanker? He was on NPR a couple of times. Yeah. He's a recluse now. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Daddy number two. <laughs> Have you heard of Yo-Yo Ma? But sort of a groupie with him. What would you call it? A Yo-Yi? A Yo-Yi? I, I wouldn't call it anything, really, but... No, neither would I. I wouldn't want to. Nevertheless, um, she's seen him naked. She told me that. It was scarring. Well, I didn't know. Now you've scarred me.